all of my everything we greeted saints in the name of Jesus we didn't do the beginning of the month devotions tonight as I was sitting doing nothing I just heard a voice saying I must shit because I haven't shit in a long time and then I'm like why not so I'm gonna speak to you guys let's pray Heavenly Father we thank you for this platform that we are able to spread the word in the name of Jesus touch every person who needs to hear this right now for your glory in Jesus name amen and I heard the, the word the voice of God saying it's the season of restoration doesn't make sense right with everything that is happening but the Holy Spirit the voice of God is, is promising us restoration and it took me to the book of joel 2 verse 22 to 25 i'm gonna quickly read it for you don't be afraid you animals of the field for the wilderness for the wilderness pastures will soon be green the trees will again be filled with fruits fig trees and grape vines will be loaded down once more 
rejoice you people of jerusalem rejoice in the lord your god for the rain he sends demonstrates his faithfulness once more the autumn rains will come as well as the spring rain 24 the threshing floors will again be piled high with grain and the presses will overflow with new wine and olive oil the lord says i will give you back here here this is where i, uh, I wanted to take you to i will give you back this is the lord speaking not me the lord himself i will give you back what you lost what is it that you have lost job husband wife what what is it that you have lost have you been exchanged have you lost your children have you lost whatever that you value the most the bible says i will give you back doesn't matter what it is but god is promising to bring back oh jesus whatever we have lost okay to the swimming locusts to corona whatever that we have lost to looting you might have lost your business to anything that has been happening but jesus is saying god is promising to bring it back remember the story of of job when job lost everything job lost his i mean his children his animals he was a rich man and he lost everything to a point where his wife said curse your god and die but job said i'm never doing that i'm not doing that what do you do when you are faced with challenges do you become like job's wife to say curse your god do you curse god when you are faced with tribulations do you curse god when you are faced with challenges or do you stand still just like job who said i will never curse god i might be in pain my body might be in pain because remember he had pimples he, he his body he, he was not all right he was sick as well from he had physical pains he has lost everything his finances from giving that high lifestyle to living to nothing and the wife said curse your god you lost your children you lost everything why do you still want to give god the glory job said i'm not gonna kiss my wife my my god he is god even in the midst of this trial in the midst of my loss whatever the locust might have stolen but he is still god i might be retrenched my business might not be going as i wish my things might not be going as i would want them to go but i am not cursing my god i am not cursing my god he is god i want you to have that faith like job and the bible says when you read to the last chapter it says that everything that was stolen everything that was taken away it was given back to him in double that's what the bible is saying in the book of in, in in verse 25 in the book of jewel i will return i will bring back the thing when god returns when god brings back the the blessings that comes from god are not like the blessings that we receive from our people our parents they are extraordinary they amaze you they leave you in amazement but is this for me i love this upper cook one verse five it's something that when god when god shows up guys he shows off i don't know what is it that the locust has stolen from you but i am here to tell you that god is gonna give it back he might not bring back bring back the people who have lost yes through death he might not bring them back physically but he will bring back your blessings in another way you will understand why that has to happen may the god may the good lord give you strength don't be like job's wife who curses god when things are not going well when season are not going your way always give god the glory 
even in pain, even in hardship, because he is God. He doesn't change. He remains God. It doesn't matter what you go through. The problem with people is that we love to give God the glory when things are going our way. But when things are not going our way, we, we ask God, why me, God? Why don't we ask God, why me, when things are going our way? Why don't we say, God, but why are you blessing me this much? Why is it easy to say, but God, why is it that I am the one who is going through the most in life? We need to be grateful in every season. In summer, we must be grateful. In spring, in winter, in autumn, he remains God. We need to learn enduring. We love enjoyment, but we don't love endurance. Endure. Your blessings are coming. God is, God is to restore. He promises to restore what the locust has stolen. It's not my word. It's the word of the Father. He does not sleep. He doesn't lie. He promised that he will never leave nor forsake you. I pray that may he continue to bless you. I don't know what is it that you are facing right now that you feel like the world has abandoned you. God has abandoned you. I don't know what it is, but God came to your rescue. He will restore you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. You are restoring us. Thank you for restoration power. Thank you for restoration power, Father. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praises for restoration, restoration, restoration. Take your restoration by force in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We worship you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We glorify your name in Jesus' name. We love you, O oh God, now and forevermore in Jesus' name. We bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, guys. Happy August because we are meeting for the first time. And I'm going to miss you, same time, same place. If you haven't purchased the ticket, get the ticket on the link below. Bless you. Bless you. The Lord is good. And all the time, God is good. Oh, yes, Lord. This song says, I'm going to take you. He will never leave you. Yes. No matter what you've done, yeah. you have the right to be forgiven. I don't let nobody hold me to the mistakes I made. Mm. Look, man, once God forgive me.